Hi everyone. So today we will see how to publish the extent report to in Jenkins, right? So usually when you are create a project like this, so we will run from locally and we will generate some report, right? So the same report we have to get it from the Jenkins as well when we run the uh, our test in CI/CD mode, right? So how to I mean publish our extent report to Jenkins, right? So these are the steps that we have to follow. Like so, you have to uh, add the HTML publisher plugin to your Jenkins before uh, creating this uh, extent report. So once you have uh, added this one, then you have to go to uh, your Jenkins to create a Maven project, and you have to pass your direct, I mean, your pom dot uh, XML root file directory to the Jenkins, and we have to pass the Maven commands like a clean test or clean verify any Maven run command you can pass. And in post build action, we have to select the select publish HTML report option where we have to pass the our HTML file, right? So where it is getting placed in the our project, right? So we'll see one by one in the Jenkins. Like, uh, so make sure you have added the HTML plugin, right? So HTML publish publisher plugin, right? So in my case, I have already installed. So where I I can get it in the installed tab. So in your case, it will be an available tab. So you can go to this available tab and you can install it. Okay. So HTML. So when you type the HTML, right? This is a reporting. I mean, this is a plugin. HTML publisher, right? So this will help you to publish the HTML report. Any HTML report, not only external report. Any HTML report you can publish with this plugin, right? So we'll go back to the dashboard. I'm creating a new item, right? So extend report. Okay. So I'm creating one uh, freestyle project or Maven project you can create. So in this my case, I mean in this case we'll go for a Maven project. So once this project is created, this is how I mean the uh, page will come. So you can scroll down and go to the build area okay so here where we have to pass our palm.xml right so my palm.xml is here right i'm just copying this complete path and i'm sending it to the this path right so this root palm we have to send your palm.xml and what is our goal we have to pass our goal like maven clean test right so this is already maven project we don't want to give the mvn only clean test, clean verify you can give. Okay, so in the post build action, right? So where we have to select the publish HTML report. Okay, so here we have to add the configuration. So where exactly our HTML file uh, report is getting generated. So in my case, uh, my report is getting. I mean, my extant report is getting generated here, right? So under test output HTML report folder. So this is a test. I mean, uh, extant report, right? So this is how external report looks. So I have to copy this folder, right? So folder path I am copying this, and I am sending it to the Jenkins, right? So this is where we have to send. And my index.html pages, so it is named as a HTML report.html, right? So I will rename with a star pattern. So whatever the HTML file it has, it will take and indexing page title right so we will keep it as a extent report i mean this is like, like a title index page so whenever you open in the jenkins right so you will be seeing some title in the jenkins page so that's the reason we have to give this extent report this is kind of title optional only and what is the i mean exact title uh, you want to see in the jenkins workspace right so i will limit as a extent report as well okay simply click on apply and save so now we'll, we will build the application, I mean we will build the project. Right, so build is started now, we can go to the console.
the Maven comment is passed, right? Maven clean test we have passed, right? So the pom.xml is taking, right? So test has started and it is executing, right? So I have two feature file in the in the project. So which is one is Bing search, one is Google search. Everything is passed, like you can see here, right? Two scenarios passed and seven steps has passed, right? So in the end of the test, you can see the build is success and it is, uh, I mean, archiving the HTML report from the, this particular uh, path, right? So finally the finished, right? So build is success. So we'll go back to our project now, workspace, then we can see the extend report is created or not, right? So here you can see extend report and here on the left side also you can see the extend report, right? So when you click on this extend report, so you will be getting the extend report here, right? So this is a, I mean, this is an index of title page we have given, right? So this is an index, I mean, the extent report that we generated now. I have two feature files that are running. So all the things are coming correctly, right? So we'll go back to the project. So the same thing I'm getting in the Eclipse as well, right? So I have a, a two feature files in the project, right? One is Bing search, one is Google search. And the same report is coming in the, I mean, uh, Jenkins as well, right? So this is how we generate the extent report in, I mean, we publish the extent report in Jenkins, okay? So again, I will go through the configuration one more time. So only two things, you have to give this palm.xml uh, root file uh, path to your Jenkins, as well as where the report is placed, right? So you can run it this same uh, project from the uh, GitHub repository as well, right? So you have to tell where the uh, report is getting generated, right? So this is how we generate the extend report. Uh, I mean, we publish the extend report in Jenkins, okay? So that's all about uh, this video. Uh, if you want to see some other uh, HTML report like a uh, plain HTML report or testng XML results or a Cucumber uh, report, right? So I have created uh, uh, videos for those reports as well. Please go and watch my previous videos for Gen I mean for publishing the report in Jenkins. Okay, thank you guys.